the Democratic Party divisions over the war in Gaza will be on full display today when voters decide a record-breaking primary campaign right here in New York. Two Democrats, Jamal Bowman and George Latimer, are battling for one congressional seat. Scott McFarland is in New Rochelle, New York, where the polls are already open. And Scott, good morning. The weather will not be an excuse not to vote today. Great weather here in New York. Hey, Gail, good morning. This is really just unheard of. More than $20 million spent just to win a nomination, the most expensive U.S. House primary in American history. But something bigger is at play. This has become a bit of a political proxy battle over how Israel is carrying out the war against Hamas. On the eve of the primary election, progressive Congressman Jamal Bowman is fighting to keep his seat. Let's go out there and win this race. Bowman is a former school principal in his second term who has blasted Israel's handling of the war and called for an immediate ceasefire. We are not going to stand silent while U.S. tax dollars kills babies and women and children. My opponent supports genocide. He's squaring off against suburban Westchester County Executive George Latimer, backed by millions of dollars in support from a super PAC affiliated with the pro-Israel lobby, APAC. We believe that uh, there should be peace in the Middle East. It comes from respecting Israel as a democracy. Cease fire now! Saturday, Bowman uncorked a torrent of criticism and vulgarities about the donations flowing to Latimer. We are going to show an APAC. The power of the South Bronx. Bowman is backed by progressive leaders, including Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. You can't fight for our families and immigrant families abroad either if we're taking money from corporate lobbies and from APAC. It's not possible. But Bowman is dogged by controversy, pleading guilty to a misdemeanor for pulling a Capitol Hill fire alarm during a key vote last fall. And he's taking heat from those backing Latimer for splitting with President Biden. Jamal Bowman has his own agenda. After months of ads and fierce political attacks, voters say they have been bombarded in this Democratic Party feud. I have people literally knocking my door, dropping off uh, flyers for so-and-so. The winner of this nomination is going to be an overwhelming favorite in what is really an overwhelmingly Democratic congressional district, which means the winner is poised to have a key vote next year on money and weapons for Israel. Tony? We'll see. Could be revenge of the moderate Democrats. Scott, thank you very much.